Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is fine. Uh, so real quickly, there's a queen of swords that I picked up on in my last reading. So I wanted to touch on her a little bit. There's a woman in a community that does a lot of manipulations with words. Uh, so this is like a woman also leaving her community to either call people, text people, email people, or go to other communities physically. It's like she wants to find out what's going on in someone's life. So she's trying to find out if someone is like dating, someone's getting married, are they working a new job, uh, do they have new opportunities coming in. And the reason why this woman is trying to find this out is so she can get in there and cause some type of hindrance in someone's life. Someone is not a supporter of you or whoever this is she's asking you about this is someone that pretends to be an advocate for someone she's not an advocate this is a woman that's manipulative as heck someone is intimidated someone is insecure someone is bitter and void of human emotions this is like someone where you tell them like your kid passed away and they don't have any reaction to it like someone is void of human emotions this is someone that feels uncomfortable being hugged if you hug them it's like they kind of uh, they, they feel eerie, like, uh, like, you know, human emotions bothers this woman. She does not like being hugged. This is like the person where like telling them, I love you. It bothers them. Her seeing people happy bothers her. Someone is like in, in balance. They're not only like a psychopath, but a sociopath, but someone is like, they know how to hide that aspect of themselves. So they they come across as someone that's very genuine, someone in the upright pillar of the community. This is someone in like a community where they've been there for years and you'll say, oh, we've never heard anything bad about, you know, Elizabeth. She's a pillar of the community. You know, with all the years you've been here, I've never heard anything bad about you. Never heard anyone say a, a mean thing about you. You've always treated people the right way. And the reason why you've never heard anything bad about Elizabeth is because Elizabeth acts from behind the scenes. Elizabeth has her puppets that she uses to carry out her malicious plans, her devious plans. So, you know, you're never going to hear about Elizabeth being out of character, lying, stealing, being jealous, insecure, and intimidated by other people. Because when Elizabeth sees someone that she's intimidated by, she uses her puppets to do her work. Elizabeth got on some type of smear campaign, destroyed someone's career in order to block them from being able to move forward. Elizabeth hindered someone's career in some way, shape, or form that she's not telling people. This is like her either going and telling a community that someone is retarded or someone is incompetent, don't know what they're doing, they're lazy, not non-committal, uh, unskilled, and things like that so that this person will not be able to move forward with their life or advance in their career. So Elizabeth did this because of intimidation. Kind of think of like an older woman uh, being around a younger woman that she sees as very skilled, very talented, very determined to make it in life. And it bothers the older woman that this younger woman has this much drive in life and this much determination in life. So she makes it her mission to destroy some that, that younger woman. And Elizabeth was working with a King of Cups as well in her community or wherever this is to take someone down. 
People may not know that there's a woman and a man that are working together in a community to wreak havoc. They've been stalking another energy, possibly uh, someone of high honor, someone of privilege. And I'm not saying as far as privilege, like you're wealthy. It's, uh, it's more so like a spiritual thing, your energy, your character, your morals, your ethics, the things that you stand for is what makes you of high honor. They are intimidated by you. These people say over their dead body, are they going to live in a world where you are successful and people are taking you serious? People are supporting you like you have a fan base and things like that. So they've been working behind the scenes to destroy your pathway. Elizabeth is a queen of swords, but this kind of queen of swords are people you don't meet often. This is like a queen of swords. When you see them, you may think that they are like a queen of pentacles in the upright or like you may think that they're even like a queen, uh, like an empress, but they're not. She's a queen of swords in the reverse. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, the queen of swords in this situation, someone is very cunning. They're very cunning and manipulative with words. When they talk to you, it makes it seem like they're very diplomatic in the upright, very uh, respectful, very intellectual quick witted. She's none of those things. Elizabeth is just cold hearted and calculating. She sits back and comes up, comes up with malicious plans on how to block people's futures that she sees as a threat. Okay. So this is a woman in a community. Cause I picked up on her in my last reading. She uses words to manipulate. She causes a lot of conflict but people don't know that because she does it from behind the scenes and she participated in something that she's been trying to distance herself from. So people don't know that she played a role in it, but Elizabeth played a huge role. Uh, I'm quoting her Elizabeth, like, like that's her name. There could be her name for somebody, but this queen of swords played a huge role in destroying someone's career. And even after someone may have either lost a job, got fired, left the community, they got out into the world, started a business or started a new adventure or just kind of left something behind. Elizabeth and her friends, they still followed this person out of their community that they were all in together to destroy their resources. There's also something that was done in like the court system, either by Elizabeth or the King of Cups to try and steal something or to accuse someone of doing something to like take some type of finances from someone like an abundance, some type of inheritance, some type of will, some type of D, some type of directive order by someone that was either passing away or is passing away was edited. It was audited and they had help um, in the court system to get this done. Um, something will be, will be reviewed uh, it will be exposed, um, but there's something where it's like someone was passing away um, and they left some type of inheritance for someone. This could have been like a, a wealthy man that was passing away and he left a will, left something to another energy that he was very appreciative of because you may have helped this person solve something, or maybe you were kind to this person. Maybe you brought peace to this person. Maybe your gifts helped this person. If you are someone that's gifted, there's something that you did for this person and they left you money or some type of inheritance. But Elizabeth and her friends got together, did some type of manipulation in the court system to hide that abundance. Whatever that hidden amount is or whatever that hidden inheritance is, it will be reviewed. These people have been going through the extent of interfering with communications. There is some type of communication you were supposed to receive that you did not. And that's because people are interfering with networks and things like that. Emails, uh, Wi-Fi is what I've been picking up on. Uh, just all forms of communications. They have people interfering with it so that you don't receive something that's supposed to be given given to you. It will be given to you. And if anything was taken out of that abundance, out of that money, it's going to backfire horribly. Even the woman that I'm talking about, Elizabeth, <laughs> Queen of Swords, there is something that's coming to an end for her. She could end up losing her job, may fall ill as well. But there's some type of 
imprisonment or some type of ending that's coming up for this woman and it's going to be very horrendous and what i'm hearing is that it already started and she's trying to hide it behind the scenes but it's going to get so bad to the point where she won't be able to hide it like think of going to work one day your co-worker you find them like they're just disgruntled you can't get a word out of them because their whole life is just upside down. They've lost a lot. Their finances are gone. Their stability is gone. If they're married or getting a divorce, like everything is just out of balance. Like they're just losing everything. There is something where like when dark workers, people that choose to be negative and choose to steal from other people, when they are carrying out all of these malicious deeds, they feel so good about it. Like, you know, when they get something done or they manage to steal something from other people, they're high-fiving each other, you know, like they've done something really victorious. They've had a win. The whole time they don't realize the universe is in control of everything and they're just watching them carry out their plans until the right time for the situation to be balanced out. So there's something where uh this queen of swords is about to lose everything. I'm talking about if you're married, you're about to be divorced. If you have a kid, there's something that's about to happen. If you have a job that you've been working, working in a company for however many years, 30 years, 17 years, 25 years, you're about to lose that job. Like you're about to be pulled out of a community and you won't be able to return to that community ever again. Like something is about to be balanced out and the way it's going to be balanced out, people are going to feel like it's unfair but it's not unfair. You made that choice to participate in something. It's like a group of people saw someone by themselves and they made them a target. Um, and a lot of people are part of something they think they're part of because someone did something to them. So it's like Elizabeth tells Karen that Mary said something about her or Mary did something. Mary stole some money. Mary is incompetent. Mary is retarded. Mary is this. Mary is that. So they believe that and then they start taking some type of action against Mary, not knowing the whole time. Elizabeth has been orchestrating all of this behind the scenes. So if there's something where some of you were supposed to receive some type of promotion at some point in a company and you didn't receive it, like you knew something was supposed to be given to you, but it wasn't given to you, it's because there was a queen of swords a king of cups and a few other characters behind the scenes collaborating to make sure that you don't receive that opportunity elizabeth may have even gone as far as getting like a queen of cups reverse to work with her and give her a promotion or something like that like i'm picking up details on these people on what and what it is that they have been doing and they are afraid of the truth coming out. So if you have a platform, these people have been working together. Maybe this is why some of you, your platforms are not like where they're supposed to be. It's not that you're doing something wrong. It's because there are people tempering with your work behind the scenes. So they're trying to shut you up, hide you. But you're still going to be out in the public eye. You will still have success. You still will have a fan base that's going to love your work, support you, and all of that. You will be abundant. You are abundant. I will. You do have a fan base that support you. You are successful. Your work that you do is very essential. You are gifted. You are talented. You are skilled. So don't let anyone make you think that you are not. Um, but whatever they've been doing behind the scenes, everything will be illuminated. There's also something where it's like they were going to take you to court to accuse you of something, but something has gone so far to the point, like if someone takes you to court, there's going to be an investigation and there is proof that someone has been invading your privacy. Someone has been telling a lot of lies. Someone has been slandering you, defaming you, and it's going to lead to an even, even bigger lawsuit. So let's say someone takes you to court for like a hundred thousand and then they have to, they end up having to pay you like $14 million in defamation. And then the fact that they cost you your employment, that's money that you lost, that's money that could have been in your pocket, helping you take care of your family or yourself. So now now they're in a bigger hole than they were in before. So they were trying to put you in a hole and now they themselves are in a hole, right? 
So there's something like that. It's like they were very committed to blocking you from moving forward and something is being balanced out. They're angry because something is not go not going the way that they thought it would go. There's something where like a group have been working really hard to hide and they've been doing this through lie and maliciousness, taking reckless action trying to divert someone's path, keep them stuck, control them, block a wealthy man from giving to you based on lies and causing towers and things like that. And now this whole friend group, they're going through a tower and are feeling way down. Someone may still be wanting to push forward and force some type of victory that's never going to happen. This could be a queen of wands and you yourself could be a queen of wands and you are successfully ending this chapter, closing this chapter out and starting a new one. But there could be a masculine in here. I don't know if this is like a higher level soulmate that's sending some type of communications to a king of cups to let him know that something is exposed, that you know the truth about a situation. So this is supposed to be someone of high honor. I'm not sure why they are involving themselves in something so low vibrational. It's almost as though this king of cups was wanting some type of abundance to be given to him. So he's been, he's been trying to hold on to it. But this is someone very lazy and non-committal. Someone does not like to work. Someone may have said that you and them were in a relationship, but you're not in a relationship. Someone may have forged some type of document and said that something belongs to them, but it doesn't belong to them. So someone thought they were going to receive some type of commitment, some type of position, something within an institution, and they were going to be able to move on. But someone is not able to move on. Like they're stuck in some type of situation. If they were trying to bring you some type of issues, they themselves has, have more issues going on now than they could have ever imagined and they're all sitting behind the scenes trying to figure out how to move forward with this this uh, narrative that they've painted right um so they're not able to move forward because there's something that has been revealed that like you know the truth this is why this temperance energy here is sending bad communication like communications like a bad message maybe it's an email text message phone call they're telling this person that hey this person knows the truth like we can't hide this. There's no way around it. Like she knows. I keep hearing someone saying she knows. So something will be revealed. All of these people are all watching you to see how something is going to play out. And they know they're stuck in some type of hole that it dug for themselves. And everybody is there living in fear because you will have wish fulfillment. You will have this contract. Whatever D or will or whatever was audited or edited illegally it is going to be balanced out someone will be communicating to you someone is holding on to what belongs to you so that they can give it to you in divine timing so that you can have this victory and be able to move on with your life and have options and resources options lives and things like that and you are the queen of pentacles and you will have justice due to the truth being exposed about the choices people made when it came in a community especially when it came to giving you some type of offer and things like that someone is coming in to give you some type of friendship you may know this intuitively that you are going to have wish fulfillment and have this new path you're someone very wise and gifted um and your gift is going to lead to some type of abundance for you um th the fact that you are someone gifted you could be someone very unique it's causing a tower for these people and exposing all of their lives which is putting an end to this karmic cycle and enabling you to start some type of new beginning you're going to have some type of new relationship someone will be communicating with you to let you know that maybe they have a lot of emotions for you someone may not be even able to contain the amount of emotions they have for you but there's something that's about to tick up for you because someone has forced you in a higher understanding of what it is that's been going on, especially when it comes to communications. Maybe someone tried to communicate with you, Queen of Cups, but you never received the communications. There's also a Queen of Cups reverse behind the scenes that's going through a lot of anxiety and fear right now, just feeling burdened. Someone's probably not sleeping because all of their lies are being exposed and there are more lies coming out and it's going to lead to a lot of heartache 
heartbreak for her because something is coming to an end. What's coming to an end is her receiving any type of offers or gifts and things like that from a wealthy man or being seen as someone that's in the upright because this is a feminine energy that could have been out here collaborating with people and she's upset that you are going to be receiving a commitment that's going to turn into an ace of pentacles offer and again it's going to lead to you being allowed to be yourself being innovative like someone is very heartbroken behind the scenes due to the fact that you get to move on with your life you don't have to uh fear anything you don't fear nothing they're not able to take you down she's stuck in her mind with your victory because these people were expecting to be the ones that had the victory. Maybe they thought they had done some type of ritual where they had taken your gift and things like that. I'm, oh, you're, this person here has fallen from grace. That's why, that's why they're involved in this nonsense. Someone has fallen from grace. Whoever this is, maybe this is someone you had a higher contract with and it doesn't have to be in love. It can be in business. So maybe you were placed in someone's energy to bless them, to help them in business, to be successful, to heal them, balance them out. Someone was in, was of high honor because of their heart space, their heart energy. They had a higher perspective on life. Uh, someone very intelligent, but I don't know why they decided to participate in something low vibrational. So now someone has gone from being in the upright to being a liar, being toxic, karmic, I don't know what this is. So things like this really, really, really sadden me when people can fall from grace and become this kind of energy um, because it's like it's so unnecessary. But someone else may be behind the scenes trying to bring balance into something because they see the truth about all the lies, the toxicity, the karm karmic activities that were taking place. But I'm just so heartbroken to see this kind of energy come into this. It's like Lucifer falling from grace and be and becoming the devil's energy is really sad okay so this is why i guess remember i asked i'm like i don't know why someone like this is part of this kind of situation it's because they fell from grace it's because someone has gone from doing the right thing in life to being karmic and toxic being controlled someone may be bonded to something maybe they don't see a way out of it maybe someone's finances are attached to something is that once we get this done then you can have your new beginning or you can go back to being high vibrational whatever it is but that's not how it works someone has trapped themselves and bonded themselves to either a karmic couple a community or some type of situation and it's causing them a lot of heartbreaks whoever this devilish community code coving is whoever this devil's energy is is going through a lot of heartbreak they may even be betraying the people they were working with because something this could be like an emperor that's in the reverse because this is something where they've lost yeah they've lost quite a lot maybe having a lot of emotions behind the scenes someone may not even want to be seen Someone may feel disrespected or someone may feel belittled because of the truth that's coming out. Someone says that they feel, I feel insulted or something like that. They say, what do you feel insulted about? You were the one that took time out of your day, out of your life to go and temper with someone else's livelihood that did nothing to you. Okay. The reason why they would have done that is because someone is void of human emotion. Someone is cold hearted. Like a king of swords in the background of a community or inside of a community is very cold, void of emotions. Like everything is mechanistic to him. He sees people as just another tool that he can use for his agenda. Even the people he work with, there is no emotions. These Most of these people are the same. They don't have any type of emotional connections to each other. Okay. They don't like each other. They don't get along. They're throwing temper tantrums behind the scenes. They're frustrated because things, there's some type of horrible backfire that's going on. Something has been exposed. There's someone who cannot pretend to be in the upright. So maybe that's part of the reason why this devilish energy is out here because you know this person is reckless. They take impulsive action. So maybe someone presents themselves to be in the upright. But really, this is them at a core and this is being exposed to you. And the fact that you know that someone is actually this energy may be bothering them because now they're not able to deceive you and this has led to some type of defeat for them. There was some, there was some type of short 
live victory for these people, especially this King of Cups that's been gun ho on destroying you. It says something is being balanced out, and this is an absolute truth about these people, especially this King of Cups. Someone has been plotting on another energy for at least like over a year, maybe two years. I'm being told like since 2022, someone has been plotting on you. Someone got a group of people together to come up with some type of fictitious court case, lawsuit, scam, fraud, thievery, something like that to accuse you of so that they could hinder you, bond you. Someone also tried to take what belongs to you. So as I mentioned earlier, someone passing away and leaving you some type of abundance, they all orchestrated how they could steal that from some of you. And all of that, it will be illuminated. The truth will be out. Um, there is a king of wands behind the scenes that could be going through a tower and he feels way down, maybe arguing with these people because they blocked his new beginning. It's almost like someone feels like they were tricked into blocking their own new beginning. So it's like now he's seeing things clearly and now he's getting pissed off. He said, you tricked me or, you know, or he's just pissed up, you know, like the, that feeling you get when you've been around someone someone for so long and you think them to be very genuine positive in the upright and you think they are your supporter they advocate for you and things like that only for you to find out someone has been blocking your destiny the whole time now that this king of wands knows that he's pissed off behind the scenes because he's been living under an illusion the whole time and this has been illuminated to him that you were the blessing in his life the whole time and he should have committed to you but instead he turned on you decided to sneak you weigh you down walk away from you and now he's finding out that you are the true queen of pentacles so he may want to come towards you now to give you an offer and i don't know if you want to offer from this person because you know someone was plotting to end your new beginning there's also something where like a group of people or someone they're just waiting for the right time like as soon as you're supposed to have your 15 minutes of fame because uh, they're very intimidated by you and they've been doing a lot behind the scenes that they don't want in the public. And then you can imagine when someone has been out telling people that you are uh, retarded, emotionally unstable, mentally unstable. But then people see you, you're out here with like a master's or a doctorate. And then they have to explain, wait, I thought you told us this person was incompetent. They don't have an answer. So they're waiting, when, waiting for the right time to strike you. Um... And again, like with a, with a platform, if you're supposed to go viral, you're doing things to block that from happening. But there's going to come a time when these people cannot do that. So they're waiting for the right time to strike when you are, you know, in the public eye, enjoying your life, reaping the harvest of your labor and things like that. Someone wants to come on there to gaslight you and make it seem like they support you. Someone has been following you every platform. If you are someone on social media, they've been following you every platform that you've created. It's like these people. People know what you're doing before you know. And this is because they're in your devices, on your Wi-Fi and things like that. And when, if something does go to court, all of that is coming out. There's something where they won't be able to hide. I don't care how much they want to pretend talking about we have an oath. We took an oath of silence that we're not going to tell what it is we've been doing behind the scenes. First of all, there's someone amongst you all that knows the truth. So you can go into the court case and pretend like you don't know what has been going on and you can pretend like you don't know people's IP addresses have been being collected illegally. People's Wi-Fi have been uh, being hacked illegally and things like that. You can pretend like to know, but just know that there is someone amongst you that's part of the court system and they know the truth. And when the time comes for court, all of that will be coming out. You will have to explain why you were in people's computers, people's phones, internets, and things like that when you had no business being in there. So there's, uh, there's a whole lot that's going to be exposed. So there's all celebrating and things like that where you think that you defeated two people from coming together or you blocked someone from receiving some type of financial assistance or whatever that it, this is or two people just 
being successful together in business because you were able to manipulate them through words and try to put something to it and all of that is going to be exposed literally every action you're taking is just more sauce more material more evidence for the court case that you all are so gun ho on having so that you can stop someone's future block someone from being able to move on get a sword. They will be moving on. They will be getting married. They are still disciplined and committed to what they're healing. It's going to be justice in their favor. Okay. And these two people you're trying to block will be meeting in divine timing and having this new beginning together and balancing things are the balancing things out. These are two ascended masters and you have no authority, none so ever, no gifts, no talents, no nothing, no clearance, no spiritual clearance, no physical clearance, nothing to block nothing, okay? And you know it. That's why you're weighed down and burdened because this queen of cups that you've been trying to block is going to be having fulfillment, ultimate fulfillment, wish fulfillment, and they will keep going for the things they want in life. There's nothing you can do that's going to stop this person from doing their work because at this point, they're not even the one that's in control of the situation. It's the universe that's in control. Um, so whoever that queen of source is, I picked up on, just know that the end is near for you. You can keep manipulating, playing with words, trying to act like you support someone. You're just trying to figure, find out how they're doing, if they got married or anything, whatever this is. This family here, you all ain't blocking someone's abundance. This woman of high honor that you all have been trying to destroy, they will be receiving their, their high honor. You all, it's a feel victory. It was a short-lived victory for you. Short-lived. It was a one, two, three. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's that kind of victory. Okay? So th that person of high honor that's been working really hard, I told you all, ain't no success for your family. This community, this institution, it could be an institution that ends up being shut down out of money unable to network with other institutions because they're going to see you all for what you are people people are not going to want to work with you i don't know how long you all thought this was going to go on there's an institution as well that does not have foresight or a full scope of what its members have been doing behind the scenes. And you're going to find out. But when you find out the full scope of what people have been doing behind the scenes, it's going to be too late. There is absolutely a business that's falling from grace. Your finances are about to be depleted. If you can see, you're going from the Ten of Pentacles. So the freaking three of wands in the reverse, you're going to have a hard time connecting with other businesses. Other businesses are not going to want to be affiliated with you. Even if you try to rebrand, remodel yourself, the way you do things, change your names, they're not going to want to be affiliated with you because of what you've been participating in. And then you have to also think about the type of business you're in. I saw the hermit a few times. So this is either a medical, like a healthcare company in the medical field or this is like a, what's the other, a spiritual com community? I was trying to figure out what's the other uh, field of operation industry that's associated with the hermit. It's either medical or the spiritual community. But you will be falling from grace. There's a woman uh, that's been pretending to be of high honor in a community as well. You will be falling from grace. When all of the, I'm telling you, it's the end. When all of this comes out, you all are going to have a hard time finding co uh, companies people that want to connect with you network with you and things like that because they're going to know that you've been out here lying manipulating deceiving to force something to go your way and you've been out here trying to end people that haven't done anything to you especially people that are in the upright you got a hard road ahead of you so whatever it is you all have been doing you may want to balance it out um, maybe you don't see something that's coming there goes that king of wands i was talking about yeah he knows the truth he knows the truth about the matter, the situation. He knows the truth. He's watching. I remember I told a woman not too long ago that whoever she was trying to hide the truth from, he knows. I'm telling you, he knows about all the illusions, the sneaking. You trying to block a queen of pentacles from taking action in their life to balance things out and have victory. You tempering with communications, their contracts when it has to do with an institution, a marriage, or whatever. Everything you've been doing, there's a masculine that knows it. 
everything like whoever you've been trying to hide it from whether it's an, another institution or a masculine a fem they know i told you that in a reading they know like they're watching they know you're watching him and he's watching everybody you didn't know that huh you're watching him and he's watching everybody like someone sees the action that everybody has been taking it maybe took him a while to catch him but he he found out he found out and this is someone in the upright balancing life out going through healing hmm. and he's keeping to himself too everything he everything that's been going on he's keeping it to himself there's another king of wands in here that's trying to hold on to what belongs to someone else doesn't want to let go don't worry you can keep holding on when the time comes you'll let go You'll let go. You may want to find peace, make peace with the situation, cut your losses and move on so that you can continue having wish fulfillment. But whatever it is you're trying to hold on to or stay into, it ain't going to turn out the way you think it is. So there's a tower that's about to take place again because you all keep going through these towers back to back, but you still keep trying to do the same thing, trying to force something to go in your favor. You're still out here invading someone's privacy, trying to block their options. You're not blocking nothing. Someone is about to be out here in the public eye, okay, having support. And this is all due to their hard work and people seeing them as wish fulfillment, someone choosing to heal and enmity and, and, and reside in a positive energy this is why you're not able to take them down okay you may want to be practical about this situation and move on with your life move i'm telling you <laughs> move on you could be keeping to yourself right now trying to recover move on trying to see things from a higher perspective trying to self-actualize and things like that because you used to live a very, I don't know, superficial life. Yeah, like you're cutting your losses with this couple, with this family that's going through a tower and you're taking a new direction in life, standing your ground, maybe choosing to act in the upright and you're probably standing your ground to a queen of swords that you know is trying to cause some type of disturbance to someone's life, which is who I started off talking about. There is a queen of swords. I think I said queen of wands just now. There's a queen of swords in a community that is very, like, cold, like an empty vessel walking about the face of the earth. Someone is void. I don't even know how else to say it. Like, someone is very shallow. Like, one of those people that come around you, you got to be very skilled to see what it is they're about. Like, to get the true feel of their energy because she's so good at masking her energy, like someone pretends to be in the upright, but she's really a narcissist and she feels entitled to someone else's abundance, something someone else has worked for. This woman feels entitled to it. She may have started some type of court case, court proceedings, some type of legalities to take something from someone that does not belong to her. This is how narcissistic someone is behind the scenes that she feels like what belongs to another person should be given to her so she's been causing a lot of conflict in a community especially with a masculine uh this is a masculine that's in the reverse and he does a lot of manipulations as well that this is an emperor in the reverse it's always alarming when an emperor is in the reverse because these are people that abuse their power and things like that and get really angry when things don't go their way, like they'll send you some type of ridiculous communication, try to give you some type of offer. They know there's an ulterior motive for motive under. And if you accept it, you're out here in the cold because you've given away your birthright to them, thinking that it was something that was abundant, but it's not. So you got to be careful. But everything is being exposed. This King of Wands is walking away. I don't know if he had a contract with these people and they were trying to keep him binded to have him sign a new contract. He's not signing any thing he's removing himself like he's he said i'm not about to be in this nonsense with you oh i don't want to be here this is karmic as heck because when you there's a community when you first go there they make everything look really good they make it look like they're wholesome they're doing things in the upright they're healed they're balanced they work together as a team no it's nothing for karmics toxic city lies competition like people are in competition with themselves there's some type of power a thirst for power here. They like to prove that they're more powerful, like they have control over this person. You know, like when you go to prison, think of meeting like maybe your worst 
nightmare but when you first meet them they put on this show to make it seem like they're really kind they're really nurturing and you let your guard down only to wake up in the middle of the night to find them trying to do you something do you something funny that's one of those situations these people are thirsty for power it's money power and respect but they don't have any of it so they're desperate out here to take from other people because they want to have and be seen as powerful and wealthy they're doing something simply for the money and that is why it's not going anywhere that's why they're stuck in this community because of their motive and their intentions and reasons why they're doing something most of us that come out here for example myself i do my work because i love it this is part of my calling this is part of my path okay now it may not be something i do for the rest of my life i may end up doing it like till 2020 2044 or something like that but this is part of my life path and i enjoy doing it i'm not on here doing it for the money if there's money that comes with it great if it's not i'm still going to do it because what it's part of who i am something a group of people are trying to take control of take charge of is not part of their life path because one they don't reside in this energy naturally genuinely at all so the universe is not going to support them these are people even if they have a platform and they're putting all the money into that platform behind the scenes it's not going to come into any type of abundance because of the motive the intentions behind why they're starting that platform is simply for money when i initially started getting on social media it was for healing when it came to, comes to spirituality it was for healing myself where I, and i decided to do that on social media to hopefully have people learn the, from the things that i have gone through that is something that's selfless when you're not doing something out of selflessness there's no abundance that's coming to you with that there's always going to be some type of backfire you're going to put in more than you're going to get out which is possibly what these people are doing so for example if they've been stealing from someone and regurgitating your information or your content your idea your creativity and they've been putting in a lot of money into it to make it grow it's not growing it's not growing for a reason because of what you're doing and how you're going about it okay this will even be situations where you steal some type of abundance from someone and then you end up cursed it's like every time you spend the money something bad happens and that's the universe humbling you humbling you because of the way you went about getting that so there's a queen of swords here that's about to learn a very hard lesson a very hard lesson these people won't may want to give to you they may want to come towards you to balance something out because there's some type of loss that's going on i'm telling you these people are going through a tower there's some type of loss that's going on behind the scenes and this thing balancing it out has to do with them coming towards you to give you money and keep your distance from these people because they were the ones that interfere with you receiving some type of ace of pentacles keep your distance from them your ancestors are protecting you they may be uh, um revealing something to an actual emperor that's in the upright they're revealing the truth about him and he may end up taking actions to balance something out to put an end to the whole situation because it just is not right something will be illuminated and this is going to lead to him taking some type of action right someone may be refusing an offer from these people because he knows the truth now about all of the choices and actions they've been taking behind the scenes to end you block you and things like that there's a king of king of cups in here that's throwing an emotional outburst behind the scenes because something that's meant for you is not being given to him so he may be trying to block something for you he say if i can't have it she can't have it that's okay let them keep doing whatever it is they're doing it's just going to keep getting worse and worse for them there's going to come a time where people are going to see what belongs to you and they won't even want to touch it because something is so horrible is going on like something would have gotten so bad they won't want to touch what belongs to you okay so let them keep doing whatever it is they're doing they can do all the manipulations keep playing keep thinking it's a joke keep laughing and things like that but it's going to get to a point where it'll be like oh yeah don't touch that they may even start telling other people i wouldn't fool with that person if i was you it, it, it never ends right like i'm telling you don't 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 touch don't touch nothing that belongs to them don't try to harm them it, something bad always happen when you try to do that something is happening 
for future references. There's some type of experience that's going on where it's like in the future, these will be the very people that will reach out to other people and say, whatever you do, do not try to harm her. Do not try to harm him. Do not steal from him. Do not take from him. Do not steal from her. Do not take from her. Don't do nothing underhanded to her or him because it's going to backfire. And they're going to tell that those people, it may not backfire today, but 